I have my cooling rack. These are just Dollar Tree cooling racks. I hate washing these things, honestly. That's the only thing I don't like about doing this process. I actually, um, at some point, am going to get a regular cooling rack. Um, so, but meanwhile, for how many years I've had, I've got three of these and they've worked. So, all right. So, cooling rack, parchment paint, par <laughs> parchment paper underneath, and. I'm going to put the hand pies on here. Now look at this one. This one split open, and that's about it. It looks good. They're nice and golden brown. Look at the bottom. Yeah, if I like cherry, I would have loved that. And this was the very first one. I tried to shove the filling back in, but they're a very nice color. Yeah, I love the color and how they came out. And drop it down in the comments. Are they exploding or uh, oozing out because I put too much filling? Or, But look at this one. This one came out the best. Only a little bit of filling here came out. And the, the pinch didn't open. So, But the other one I did the same exact way. But it's probably because I put less filling in this one. You can see how much filling is in there. So I'm guessing that's why they're doing that. Exploding. Not really exploding, but oozing. Alright. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is turn them over to do the bottoms first. So then I could turn them back over and then put the glaze on there and then just leave it so they can set. All right, I put my brush here, so I just take it and brush it on. My stomach's growing, I'm hungry. I'm trying not to let myself get stressed out today over the, over Blackie. Um, we're hoping it's something easy that they can just give him something for. So he can eat. He's other than not eating. He's actually acting normal. He goes through his normal routine. He's he's not lethargic or anything. He's alert as can be. He's doing everything he would do otherwise, like get into stuff <laughs> and run around the house like crazy at five in the morning. And uh, yeah, so that part is okay. He's just not eating, which is the important part. So we'll see what the vet has to say. Kind of scary because he is 16 years old now. And uh, anything could go wrong at his age. Just kind of like a person. When the older they get, anything can go wrong. So our only, I guess our only uh, consolation is if it's serious, and if he's like terminal, which I just don't think he is, but we just don't know. Our only consolation is that he had a wonderful life. We had him his entire 16 years, minus a couple months. Um, him, Prissy, and their brother Stripey were born under the side-by-side -side house we were living in at the time. And I look... <laughs> I look out the bathroom window and I see three fur balls trying to climb it's basically uh up the house to go under it. <laughs> so they stayed out there for a couple months and we fed them and stuff like that and they would come up to our porch or step or whatever and when we talked about it, should we let them in? <laughs> We let him in on a September, September 28th, I think it was. It was the premiere of Survivor. We used to be, be big Survivor fans. We don't watch it anymore. We haven't, we don't watch a whole lot of TV anymore. The shows just don't interest us. Yellowstone still interests us. <laughs> but a lot of shows just don't do it for us anymore. But anyway... Blackie was the nosy one. 
And I knew if, we knew if he came in, the other two would follow. And exactly went that way. <laughs> I left the door cracked open. Blackie uh, slowly walked in, looked around, and the other two followed. And they went to the bedroom. And while they did that, I went and closed the door. And one of them, Stripey, he came running out, tried to jump out the window to the door. Thank God he didn't break it or anything. But we've had them ever since. And they've had a wonderful life. We've always given them what they needed. Took them to the vet when they needed to. They've always been indoor cats. We never let them out. So, but I pray that he comes home with me tomorrow. I have to drop him off at 7.30 because they're quite busy. So they have to do testing and stuff. But I'm a little scared. But I try not to get stressed out about it today. I've been stressed out about it. So, these pies are looking good. I actually want to do some pies with pumpkin in it. Like pumpkin empanadas. I love those. When we were growing up, and my dad used to go get pan dulce, which is Mexican sweet bread. Um, and he came home with pump, pumpkin empanadas. Oh, you know, I made this much glaze because I thought I used more. Oh, well. Well, this glaze will give the pie a sweetness, even if the cherry pie filling is a little tart. Make sure the glaze is nice and thick for him so he gets that sweetness out of it. It doesn't take too long for these to dry up, like 10-15 minutes and they're pretty dry. Hope everyone is doing well. And hope you had a nice uh, Memorial Day weekend. Oh, that one's got quite a bit. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, put this to the side. And uh, I'm going to put some dishes away that I washed so I can wash what I've used for the pumpkin pie and stuff. Um, and i got to try to figure out a side dish for the pork chops too. So, all right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so the pumpkin pie is done. Uh, the back, the bottom side of the hen pies are uh, the iciness setting, uh, the glaze. So that can just sit now. And I've got bacon in the oven. So what I'm going to do, I've been kind of racking my brain. What are we going to eat for a side with these pork chops? So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if some of you remember a, a side dish I made with red potatoes. I uh, just basically like cubed them, threw some bacon in there, some shredded cheese, covered it, threw it in the oven. I'm going to do something like that. It's a cross between that and the tin, uh, the foil pack I used to do with uh, sliced potatoes, onions, carrots with butter, seasoned salt, pepper, and that. So it's kind of a cross between. I'm going to kind of mix them. So I'm going to slice some potatoes. Slice an onion. Uh, when the bacon's done, I'll cut it up. I'll put it in a casserole dish. And I probably, I might even throw a can of uh, carrots there. Canned carrots. Because we don't have fresh carrots. And uh, throw, did I say throw bacon bits in? And top it with shredded cheese. Throw it in the, cover it up. Throw it in the oven. And that's going to be our side dish to our pork chops on the grill. I know you're probably thinking, you guys are having pork chops on the grill a lot. Well, We've been getting pork chops from the food pantry, so that's what we're eating. We're eating food pantry food. So, yeah, went through the freezer in the garage today. Uh, we're starting to look a little low. We got some ground beef left. 
uh, some chicken. So it's more than some have. So I'm not complaining. Uh, we'll make it work. So, all right, I'm going to cut the onion, cut the potatoes. I, I'm going to slice the potatoes. I, we got we got quite a few potatoes here that need to be used. So that's what I'm going to use, some potatoes. All right, so I'm going to get all this done because it's already 530. And, uh, yeah, i got to get going. So...
right, everyone, so there is our supper on this Wednesday evening. Some pork chops on the grill, potatoes with onion, bacon, and some cheese on top. And, yeah, stay tuned for dessert. All right, everyone, so here is my pumpkin pie, and I went ahead and did a taste test already, and I absolutely love this pumpkin pie. So uh, I won't even tell you what time it is, but uh, yeah, well, yes, I will. It's, it is 2.30 in the morning, and uh, after supper, we totally fell asleep, and we just woke up like at 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> without uh, ever having our dessert. So we are having our dessert here at 2.30 in the morning. And I'm going to go ahead and close this video out now because i got to be up in about three and a half hours. No, eh, four uh, to take Blackie to the vet. So, so with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I appreciate all the support. And remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.